Hey guys, welcome to Baking Butterly Love. My name is Katie and in this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make a chocolate Swiss meringue buttercream. All right, so to start off, I'm going to mix together egg whites, sugar, and a little bit of kosher salt. You can find the exact recipe in the description below. And if you're completely new to Swiss meringue buttercream, please go and check out my other video on making just plain Swiss meringue buttercream because I go into a lot more detail and I give a bunch of troubleshooting tips in that video. All right, so you just want to get everything mixed together, then place the mixture over a pot of simmering water. Make sure the bottom of the bowl isn't actually touching the water. Then gently but continuously stir the mixture until all the sugar is dissolved and the temperature reads 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Transfer the mixture into the bowl of your stand mixer. I like to strain it, but that is optional. Then whip on high speed until stiff peaks form. At this point, you'll need to continue whipping until the bowl is no longer warm to the touch. It's really important to make sure that the meringue isn't hot before moving on to the next step. So once the meringue has cooled, you can start adding in your room temperature butter, about a tablespoon or two at a time. It's normal for the mixture to deflate and look a bit curdled at this stage, but just keep whipping and it should come together. Next, bring that pot of water back to a boil. Measure out your chocolate into a bowl and place it over the pot and turn the heat off. The residual heat will be plenty to melt the chocolate without scorching it. I'm using a semi-sweet chocolate here. You definitely wanna use either semi-sweet or a dark chocolate for this. Because the buttercream already has a lot of sugar, milk chocolate would be just a bit too sweet. Let the chocolate sit for a few minutes, then stir until everything is melted and smooth. Take the chocolate off the heat and let it sit for a few minutes to cool off. All right, now for the fun part. Let your mixer run on medium speed and drizzle in the chocolate. Make sure to scrape out all the chocolate and then also scrape down the sides of your mixing bowl to get everything mixed together. When you're all done, it should look something like this, a really light and creamy chocolate color. At this point, the buttercream is ready to use. The recipe I have below is enough to frost a six inch cake that's about four inches tall, but you could double it if you need more. This buttercream is super smooth and creamy, but it's also sturdy enough to pipe decorations and it will firm up a bit more as the chocolate cools. You can try piping a pattern with a star tip to make it look extra fancy. Here I'm doing a really simple shell pattern and if you wanna learn more about piping with star tips, I do have a video for that and I'll leave a link for you. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to leave any questions if you have them in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel to see more cake decorating tips and tutorials.